که ما نشد هی به ماره نه جنی پاکتی کار می جد آمدی باد چی سان سارا گاره شکلی تو مارا مایا نه هی ما ما بالا گیا نه سونی مالا سوادی نه Hare Krishna. Wow, I hope you all enjoy the tour to Tota Gopinath. And today we have online His Holiness Bhakti Digna Vinasa Narasim Haswami Maharaj to uh, give us uh, some nectar of the glories of Tota Gopinath Maharaj Hare Krishna. And thank you very much once again to be with us on Safari. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Thank you for having me on this Safari. Wonderful for me. I really relish every minute being with the devotees and visiting the holy places. So Todagopina Temple, very popular temple, often visited by the devotees. We're allowed in there. We don't get into the big Jagannath temple, but we do get to see Toda Gopinath. Prajari is there, very nice, very friendly. So this deity was personally discovered by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu excavated Toda Gopinath out from the sands there at Jagannath Puri. And then he presented this deity to Gadarhar Pandit. When Lord Chaitanya took sannyas, Gadarhar came with him. And Gadarhar followed him to Shantipur and then came all the way to Puri. Gadarhar could not tolerate separation from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when he saw Lord Chaitanya come here, he also followed. He came here, he was living here in Jagannath Puri with Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya presented him with the Todakopinath deity. And Gadarhar, Gadarhar Pandit, he took Shetra sannyas. So his sannyas was a vow that he would remain there in Jagannath Puri. But it happened after some time, Lord Chaitanya decided he was going to leave Jagannath Puri and go to Vrindavan or go to South India, whatever. And Gadarhar wanted to follow him. And it, it's described in some detail there in Chaitanya Charitamrita, how Gadarhar didn't want to stay in, in Jagannath Puri without Lord Chaitanya. And he said, wherever you go, that is Vrindavan. I'm going with you. But Lord Chaitanya told him, he said, no, that's not good. You've made a vow to worship Gopinath. You should keep your vow. But Gadarhar said, no, to hell with my vow. I want to follow you. Lord Chaitanya was not pleased with him. Eventually it happened, Lord Chaitanya got in a boat and left him. And Gadarhar fainted. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya had to bring Gadarhar back to consciousness and take him back to Puri. And so this was the love which Gadar had, had, he had so much deep love and affection for Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He could not tolerate separation from him. Anyway, he was, he, he, Lord Chaitanya didn't want him to give up this vow of Shetrasthanyas and to ne neglect the worship of Gopinath. So Gadar had came back and he was worshiping Gopinath. And it said that as Gadarhar was getting old, it was becoming more and more difficult for him to place the crown and the different ornaments on the head of Lord Gopinath. So the Gopinath deity actually sat down. And we don't see any other deities like this. We don't see any other deities of Gopinath or Lord Krishna where he's actually sitting cross-legged. But it said Gopinath assumed this form so that Gadarhar 
could had had great easier access to place the crown and ornaments on the head of Lord Gopinath. So it's a very, very special deity. Uh, Gopinath, the, the only sitting deity of Krishna. And it's also said that when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu completed his pastimes in Jagannath Puri, we know Lord Chaitanya spent first 24 years of his manifest pastimes in Mayapur, and then he took sannyas, and then he came to Puri, and then he went traveling for six years, and then 18 years were spent residing in Jagannath Puri. 18 years, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri. And a lot of the time was spent in the association of Gadahar Pandit in the presence of Tota Gopina. Lord Chaitanya often would come to hear Gadahar Pandit read Srimad Bhagavatam. And Lord Chaitanya was very fond of hearing the pastimes of Dhruva Maharaj and Prahlad Maharaj. And Gadahar Pandit would be reading to Lord Chaitanya. He would be reciting Srimad Bhagavatam to Lord Chaitanya almost daily. So when Lord Chaitanya completed his pastimes in this world, whoa, a bit of a storm here in Mayapur, just coming up here just now. Anyway, just to finish my talk, the Sri, Ch Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it said that either he entered into Lord Jagannath or he entered into the sea there at Puri, or he entered into the Tota Gopinath deity. And when you go and, when you go for darshan at the Tota Gopinath temple, the pujaris will show you there's a golden line on the knee of the Gopinath deity. And it said that line is a mark where Lord Chaitanya entered into the Gopinath deity. So this is the significance of Tota Gopina, Hare Krishna, Jagannath Puri Dam Ki, Tota Gopina Ki. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Bhakti Vigna Vinasa Narasimha Haswami for your nice, very nice class. And we are having a, a storm in Mayapur. Um, Marichi Prabhu and Maharaj, they are getting ready. They're closing the, the curtains, the windows. There is a lot of wind. It's a tropical storm, typical in Mayapur in this time of the year. Um, if we are expecting maybe the electricity is cutting and... and we cannot continue, Marichi cannot continue with the program, but he will rejoin in a little while. So, Maharaj, maybe you want to continue because you were talking and uh, the, the storm interrupted you. Mm, no, I pretty much completed everything. Uh, I was explaining about Lord Chaitanya's disappearance, how Lord Chaitanya completed his pastimes. And, there was, you know, there's some... There's no real consensus, consensus of opinion exactly how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu concluded his pastimes, but there are three uh, generally accepted opinions. One is that he entered into Lord Jagannath, the other is he entered into Tota Gopinath, and the other is entered into the, the sea at Puri. Oh. So, Thank you very much. So Tota Gopinath, I said, there's this mark there on the leg. And devotees generally, we often go to the Tota Gopinath temple there. And the, the pujaris, they are very nice. They, they You can arrange prasadam there. You, you can take the lunch there. You give them some donation and take the prasadam there. The, they're all in the line of Gadarhar Pandit. Because this is the temple with the the deity which was given to Gadarhar Pandit and Gadarhar Pandit's disciples and the line of disciplic succession, they're all there coming in the line from Gadarhar Pandit. It's not a very big temple. 
but it's very sanctified because of the so much association of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's personal presence there, and Lord Gopinath there, and so many great devotees come and visit there. Jai, thank you very much, Maharaj, uh, for your nice class. And, and we continue with our program with your permission. 